And we're here at the 8th Annual Revved Up for Kids event. On the Motor Man Show, Elbrock just celebrated his uh, 75th year of being in business. Yep, 75 years. Well, Dick Elbrock and myself, we go back quite a ways, and he's a good friend of mine. I see him quite often, and we've, we have, we've actually been together on some vacations there. Can't tell you any more about the vacation <laughs> we had. <laughs> Richard and Actually, we're here with the Scott Motor with Man. MT Prods TV. Um, a quick question here. This is an event for kids. Wrong uh, one thing. This is more for kids. This is this is a that's show. That's what I'm at. I think we're all kind kind of revved up here today. We are revved up here, and I think this goes on not only for the young kids who learning how to take engines apart, put them back together there. And this is where California, this is a little history of California. California has really started drag racing. As most of you know, I'm originally from North Carolina, but I've been out here. California is my home. And growing up in North Carolina is NASCAR country. Now you look at all these nostalgic dragsters that are here, and this is a lot of innovative. The cars today that you see that are so successful, are due the safety of them, all these cars you see around here because of the safety we have today of these vehicles that are here today. What? I was telling somebody earlier about that car. I said, that car, you make about three runs to make one good one. Yeah. You know, you'd be all over the place. Yeah. Stones would. Yeah, Stones would. Uh, yeah. Same thing. Yeah. They're the wheelies. Yeah. 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 Good old days. And that's a neat ticket ride. <laughs> All these drags that you see here, some of these cars are just trial and error. When I was racing, you know, you'd, you'd lose, you'd, you'd want an extra second, you want an extra half second, you'd go back, work all day long and night just to get a half a second. Right. Now with computers, you can do it. It's just, this this to me is where it all began. And, and, and today's show is just a, a real history of, of where we've been, and where we're going. Would you agree science and math has just accelerated? Oh, it's tremendously. It's, uh, if you'd have told me, you're, I've been in this business all my life, if you'd have told me that cars would have no distributor, no distributor and run, I'd say impossible. impossible. Now cars have no distributors, and now the latest trend, and I maybe shouldn't say anything, they're not coming out. The next thing is no camshafts. Really? No camshafts, no lifters. No way. <laughs> I said that. So that's what they're working on now. No camshafts, no lifters, no push rods, no rocker arms. All right. electric solenoids are going to be working the valves. Well, let's bring a little bit of the NASCAR stuff into this. Sure. Right. Ron Hornaday from California right. got a phone call from Dale Earnhardt to go back and drive his truck right. in North Carolina. And it was because of Ron's style of a California, I don't know, what do they call us out here? What's so different about a racer back there and a racer here? Is there a difference? Let me tell you the difference when I grew up. Now, growing up in North Carolina, it was NASCAR country in the 50s. When I grew up in the late 40s and 50s. If somebody came to us and say, let's drag race, oh man, you're a sissy. We ain't got time for that. If you want to race, we go five miles, 80 on for five miles. <laughs> we had us, so we'd go 80 on. We'd blow the horn and just, but I didn't do any street racing. I don't want to, you know, I haven't. Right. I've been well, on the air. I've been on the air. This is my 33rd year with KBC. And, and when I talked about, I've always been a big supercharger and turbocharger fan. Right, right. And I've said, just put it on. It's instant power. When I came from North Carolina, everybody out here was putting headman headers on and, and multiple carburetors, and I said, hey, just supercharge it and blow the doors off of everybody. That's it. You think of women in racing. Don't get me started. Uh, <laughs> I just had to go there. Really.